How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals? Um, today we're going to work with the Anycubic Any Neck Slicer. Um, I did order an Anycubic Slicer with the uh, their version of the AMS. Uh, I forget what it's called. But right now, today we're going to do some color um, prints. So this is a little pumpkin fairy house I downloaded. And we're just going to go through how to uh, make it color. So first thing I do is I go through all my settings and get them to where I want to. Um, I do kind of mess around with this a little bit. I do keep it very similar to how I have uh, the bamboo slicer set up. Um, I like to use at least five wall loops just for strength. This way I can use a little less infill. And this is just for display pieces. Anything that needs structural, I do put more infill. But for display pieces, I find 5% is generally pretty good. Um, top surface pattern. Um, this is all pretty much how I keep it in the bamboo. Um, and then supports, I usually do tree, whether I do auto or manual, depends on the piece, but for this we're just going to do auto. Multi-material, um, you know, right now I'm working with prime towers, um, I'm trying to work on how to uh, get that so we don't have to uh, use that as much use less material. I'm working on that. I will have videos on that. Um, I do flush objects to infill, flush objects into support um, just to save on some um, material. So now I'm going to figure out what colors we want. Obviously with the pumpkin we'll want it orange. So you go over here, pick your, I just keep the settings on any cubic settings. Those should be just fine. You can tweak that if you need be. We will have videos on that at a later time. So for the shell of the pumpkin, I want to keep it orange. The chimney, let's do black. Then the arch around the doorway, the door, um, that'll be window glass, it's the window sill. These are all going to be brown pieces. And then that's going to be the door inside and the stump okay so now we have it kind of organized um, we'll go into paint so I'll pick this I want that to be brown I go over here and set up all my colors um, make that a brown so I only have the four, the AMS or any Cubics version of AMS, the Ace, I believe it's called. I only have the four color one to begin with. So we're going to use orange for the pumpkin, black for the chimney, green for the stump, and brown for all the brown pieces. Um, so to paint a piece, you just highlight it and then go to this bucket. And you can draw on it if you want. Click on the color you want to change it to. Draw on it if you want. Um, for something this big, I'll use the fill. And if you want to fill the whole thing, you take edge detection off. 
and just paint it in. Um, since I drew on it, it's gonna have these areas I need to fill in. You can adjust over here. I'll go back to fill. And we'll make that black, the little handle here. Flip it over, make sure it went on both sides. Then you come back to move. And you see that piece is brown. And you will have the prime tower. So we'll make this piece, we'll go ahead and paint this piece. Let's make the outer part brown. Make these hinges black. Then repeat until you have them all to where you want them. Make this brown. Let's make the inside black. Actually, let's make it green. Give it a little different color. Make the whole thing green. And that would be the vine. And we'll make the window glass black. Bring the chimney over here. Make her black. And then you go through all your pieces just make them the colors you want make the vine green make the little stump green actually we can make that brown and then once you get it all painted you go ahead and go up to here to slice plate. Slice as normal. Wait a few minutes while it does its thing. Um, it's pretty much like any other slicer. I just wanted to showcase this one a little bit because uh, I will have more videos on it. Get a little more in depth on it. And um, I'll be using this and bamboo slicer mainly but I will have other videos of Tinkercad uh, mesh mixer other programs to use with 3d printing but these will be the two main slicers and uh, now let's explore this a little bit up here is to add filament so say you had more than four you could add your fifth filament that's the takeaway filament. Um, that's synchronized the list from the Ace Pro. Once the Ace Pro is connected, it'll synchronize. Um, these are set filaments to use. That's all settings to you set it up to what filaments you want it to use. Um, I don't really mess with that too much. Up here is select your printer. I have not messed with workbench too much. Oh, and that makes it so you can see the whole area without um, having your little toolbar on the side. And then others is for your skirt, your special mode. Oh. Things I don't really mess with much, but we will have videos on those as needed um, a little later in the future. But this is 
So once it slices, you will see that it takes quite a long time with um, color. But we will have some videos with some tips and tricks to kind of make the color go a bit faster. But this little plate here, as you can see, will take nine hours and six minutes. Um, you know, it's it's pretty much Orca Slicer. There's, if you're familiar with Orca Slicer, you're familiar with this. Uh, like I keep saying, we're going to get a little more in depth in it as time goes on. And then, you know, it has all the standard cut, lay on face, rotate. Um, it has all the standard things that you would assume would be on there. Um, so today was a nice short little video, just an introduction to the, um, any cubic next slicer. Like I said, we're going to have tons of videos on this and bamboo slicer and Tinkercad and many other programs. So, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the video or the channel check out videos as they come i try to get once one video in a week um you have any suggestions go ahead and leave them in the comments below any compliments any hate anything you may desire go ahead and put in the comments please hit that like and subscribe button we really appreciate it being a small channel um just makes us feel good knowing that someone's actually watching these but thank you for watching and Let's go build some.